right? We're here, we're here with this, this is everybody's sort of favourite standards. Fucking mountain of people here, so we have to we'll have to we'll have to take it this quick just in case we get lynched. Charlie, how are you giving on, buddy? Tired, Marty. I'm absolutely shattered. It's been um, this is hard. It's, um, yeah, it's been busy. It's been busy. Imagine having to work for a living. I hate you know <laughs> on a Saturday too, and, and, and the World Cup final in an hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like this, we'll be killing this brave and sharp to get away over yeah, it. But yeah, where, yeah. Are you go, where are you going to go and watch it? I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I don't know yet. And who are you going for? I don't actually know. I don't mind. Come, I had to, I'm come on. Come I'm on. Agnostic. I mean, you have to go You have to go with the... Uh, Probably, uh, you have to go with everybody's second favourite team, the All Blacks. I know, but I think it's South Africa. They're, they're playing well too, you know. I, I personally think this is going to be like an absolute... Like two lorries hitting each other full See, tilt. We, we have Stephen and Shimmers are both going to sit up tomorrow morning for a week. So if they win it, we make him for them. So, yeah. <laughs> so we'll Hell yeah. That'll be party time down, down that direction. Pretty much. I was going to say down under, but that's the other, that's the other that's, way. That's, that's <laughs> the other one. That's the other one. Now, Whiskey Social, what have you got? Spe- you, always, you guys always have some special on the shelf. Yeah. Normally, normally you something know, hidden. But what have you for me today? We have, we have our new Old Cumber blend. That you've just been trying, sort of an old worn pot still blend. I, um, I love it. It's um, it's the first autumn blend that we're releasing. That will be out in about three weeks' time. So that's making us, that's not dying very well. We're we're nearly out of that one. There's a lot of single shafts. There's a single shaft for the Erdal here. So there's a a couple for Dublin, and there's actually one for a wee off license in the, in the city centre. You might know about it. I, I know very little about it. So we had that. We had that. We have a Palo Rotato 23-year-old. Single trash that was in the master class earlier. It's just... I mean, it's stupid good. It's stupid good. 23 years old. Eight and a half years in the Palo Rotato sherry class. Wow. It's stupid good. Well, um, all, all of I'll say is, we had a special day out. That, that, may, that may or may not be it. <laughs> so, Hang on. Yeah. So, I tell you what, that, that blend, you've totally changed the flavour profile of the cumber from the from the the, the, the very, 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 very limited releases you put out. Yeah, we're trying the, to go, we're the trying to go a minute more old world, a minute more intriguing, a whiskey that you actually it intrigues you, you know, that you need to figure out. Well, I'll, I'll tell you now, I, I, one of the things that I love, love about whiskey is the fact that you can take bottles from the 1940s and 50s and 60s and drink it's still, you know it's still palatable yeah, so it's, a, it's a time capsule and they are they are different from today oh, they are yeah I mean today every, a lot of time they're just pushing this sort of light sweet thing you know and, and, and that's people, people's flavour profiles today that's what they go for like Dungle Three Crowns Dungle Three Crowns <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's not necessarily for me I mean I've, I've told you before the Three Crowns it's, it's an, an easy drink and summery whiskey. Yeah, That's what I yeah. think of it as. That's totally different. No, the, the that, totally is, different. Like, that, that makes you think that, that's a challenging whiskey. It's not challenging flavor profile, but it's challenging to try and figure out what's in there. But you also you also look at it and think, that's that's different than what's on the market. It really oh, is. absolutely. But I think, you know, we looked at it and we thought last year, right, we done our first release, and then we thought, Old Cumber disappeared in 1956. So we try and reimagine, if Old Cumber hadn't have disappeared, if it had a kept on training and progressed 60 years, what might it be? It would still be double distilled, pot still from County Down, probably still be using predominantly port cast, you know, it would still have that earthy, heavy note to it. Yeah. So we're really trying to recreate what we thought Old Cumber might be. Not what it was back then, but what it might have progressed into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess that was a thought process. So it's kind of like, you know, never there, uh, Jurassic Park, that's what you're trying to do. You're, it's, like, <laughs> it's like, you know, we've, we've dug it, we've, we found a fly stuck on a tree down in that, the estate. That, <laughs> didn't, that, didn't, that didn't end well. That <laughs> didn't end well at all. Oh, why, but don't, 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 don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. The, 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 the children were all right, they received. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. So, in terms that. of the old, old cumber, what is, what is it now? Are you allowed to, you allowed to divulge this? Yes, yeah, so this time it's a 35%, it's 35% pot still, 65% grain. The grain's obviously sourced, we don't make grain whiskey. Yeah. The pot still's all our own. It's aged in bourbon for five years and then it's married. Ruby port, predominantly be 80%, 85%. Next one's all the rest will be 10% and about 5% tawny port. The ruby port brings all those red berries, sweet notes on the top, 
the Tony Port brings that warp shot towards Diesel quite well, actually, and all the Rizzo just winds the whole thing off. Yeah. So um, it's uh, yeah, about six months putting that one out. I bet uh, fortnight's time. We weren't. There's there's, about, there's a a batch of that that'll be in the distillery shop probably two weeks from now before Christmas. Yeah, price and point. Then, price point. <laughs> is this on camera? Oh yes. I figure, roughly, roughly. I figure probably forty-five twin. Um, with with the single pot, so we'll be sixty-five twin when it comes out. Well, to be honest, I mean that 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 that's totally different than most other blends. The other yeah, the market. It, it, totally it's, different. It's bigger flavor profile. It's more challenging. It's not a sweet. You know, no. Yeah. Uh, and uh, if you're like me and don't have a sweet tooth, then I would I would say that's probably one you really want to be trying. You know out. what? It's been received very well, and I know it's a bit of a challenge in complex whiskey, but it, I'm really surprised at just how well it's been received. So well, the thing um, about it, the thing about it is, Jordan, it's 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 a 45 pound whiskey. Yeah. It's these days a 45 pound whiskey but, for Irish whiskeys, pretty much. Yeah, but, entry level. But to me, Marty, it's a 45 pound whiskey for whiskey drinkers. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Oh, why? As opposed to the. And it is, it is something that is that's totally different than most things in the market. Yeah. I've, I've tasted that whiskey's like it, but not stuff you buy off a shelf these days. You just don't buy no, stuff off, yeah, out off a shelf, that's the truth. Even that person knows has got 80 scots all over yeah, it. To me, yeah, yeah, yeah. has anyway, you know. Yeah. You've had and, more 80 scots than I have. But. <laughs> and well, the thing about it is, I know you're a big Glendronach fan, so that was it's a bit of a shift away from your traditional it's thing. It's a wee you know? bit of a shift away from yeah. Glendronach, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Now, I, I got a little bit of this Carlo Cortado, so what, if you don't mind, I'm going to give it a little nose. This is just ridiculous stuff. Um, Oh, yeah. pineapple coming through there, they, they, all that lovely tropical fruit just bouncing about. And I get apricots in the apricots in the front, oh. um, and then you into more traditional sherry notes. Lots of leather in there, lots of tobacco. Still very lively for a 23 year old. Still very lively. I tell you what, guys. Oh, uh, you guys annoy me. <laughs> That's not bad. How do, do you get? How do you get it so right? That, that, all is, the time? that is not bad. That is lovely. Yeah. Jesus, and it's grown, lovely. it's grown to the right place. That's grown to the right place. Aye. Honestly, I, I, I'll tell you one thing. Whenever, whenever I'm working in the friend, I, I pull out a bottle of your stuff all the time. Out of all the single cast stuff we have, I pull out your bottle and just hold it up with the light. Look at that colour. And everybody, everybody goes, wow. They just look at it. It just looks amazing. Never mind anything else. That's I mean, very much to learn for you. <laughs> it's just not by the way. No, no, trust me, colour by colour, it would never look like that, you know. Never, ever, ever look like that. So that that's super, that's a sensational whiskey, it really is. Um, it's that's probably my favourite Dunkles to date. Um, it's just, I mean, it'll be the oldest one we've released at 23 years old. Yeah. It, it turns 23 next week, we're bought out on the 1st of December, get it into you guys, hopefully before Christmas, if not January, February time. It's, it's just um, sensational. Right, I'm going to let you get back to this before we get lynched for holding you back. Because there's, there's only one person serving here. And uh, this, this is this is what's happening. People people are going, where's mine, where's mine? So I'll let you get back to it. Right. Listen, always a pleasure, sure. as always. Take care. Take care. Slauncha.